Cowboys friends, Cowboys fans, Cowboys family, what's going on? It's your boy Fuss the King. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Week one of training camp is in the books. So, this is going to be a quick hitter. Um, got a few main points I want to talk about, but nonetheless, we made it through this week injury free. Thank you guys for watching all the content on the page. Um, go look at my. I had a predictions video of guys who I thought would step up pre-camp, so keep up with all that stuff. Keep up with everything on this channel. Keep up with all the, the Cowboys YouTubers. And with all that said, I got my notes here. I'm going to get right into it. You see a lot of content going on around the internet. I kind of want to get my thoughts, some pros, some cons, some guys trending up, maybe some guys trending down, and what to expect in the weeks coming. So with all that being said, let's get into it. So. This opening camp was, you know, one to remember. You're thinking about everything that has happened with Ezekiel Elliott, the off-field stuff with Damian Wilson, this person, that person, David Irving. You let go of Lucky Whitehead. It's just been uh, a, just a storm of chaos. All that being said, the practices have been extremely sharp. T intensity, good compete period. Dak looks sharp. Zeke looks clean out there. Not a lot of missed assignments in team. Um, guys are filling their keys, and most importantly, nobody got injured. Three of my biggest takeaways, Cheeto, Dak, Jalen. So starting with Cheeto, remember, if you remember how I, how I scouted him in college, and if you want to go back and look at the videos that I did on him, I said he's a very aggressive player. He's a very smart, cerebral player knows his playbook, knows how to jump things, and will be in the right place at the right time. But the thing that you like about him is his physicalness. He's a bigger kid. He uses his body even as a corner. Kind of like a lockdown defender, you won't be able to muscle him. You won't be able to bully him. And that's that play. He had an interception against Bryce Butler. He jumps the route. Bryce Butler is not a, a bigger muscular receiver, but he's a taller guy nonetheless. He jumps the route. Let me close my door, y'all. Excuse me. He jumps the route. Open doors just irritate me. He jumps the route and he and he makes the play very agile. So I wouldn't. He's almost. He almost will be used in our scheme that our cover two Tampa two kind of deal where you have. If you guys don't know what it is, is basically you have the two safeties in the back. It would be Heath and Byron or whoever's back there playing quarters, playing one one. And the corners can either play a press man. They could play zone. They could play you know a bail man technique. And then you would either have a nickel guy or you would have two linebackers. And then you would obviously have your four man front. Well. All that said, all that scout talk said, um, Cheeto, I think he will flourish in this system. And you see a lot of t teams using it. They're using uh, a Tony Jefferson type, a Tyron Matthews type, a guy that can kind of roam and kind of do things because Cheeto can play a little safety. He can play a little corner. And he doesn't look out of place at either. And that's what you've seen. You've seen him carry tight ends. You've seen him look good against tight ends. You've seen him making plays on the ball, jumping routes. And obviously he had the pick. He's had two picks this practice. I mean these practice periods. So it's just you see the Cowboys. They had a plan in the draft. We're gonna draft secondary, and you see them giving these guys an opportunity. Skandrick sat out of practice two days ago. These guys are making plays, and I think Nolan Carroll may be in trouble. Dak looks extremely sharp. Dak has looked sharp. He looks leaner. I've seen some interviews he's done. His face hasn't picked up any weight. That's what I look for. If somebody's gaining weight, I'm looking at their face and see. But nonetheless, he looks he looks clean. He's making throws from the pocket. His feet look good. Accuracy looks good. All of this stuff that's been happening with the Cowboys is kind of like we've kind of forgot to speak about the the main thing. And in in our main question mark is how will Dak do in year two? He's very self-scouted. He's very self-efficient. And he's winning off-season award, off awards when it comes to his 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 him 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 being in the gym and and all of those things so you're thinking about Dak he looks clean he looks very strong as a quarterback and he just looks smart and he looks like he's growing and he's still doing the thing after practice with Jason and some people may think it's corny but I believe that just keeps him grounded just keeps him sharp so Jalen Smith for all the questions that were going to be asked about Jalen Smith and what will he be and this that and the third Man, I got to tell you, three days of practice, practicing pads, 
full contact. He looks good. I mean, he hasn't played football in a long time. There's going to be rust. He's not going to be as quick. He's not going to be as fast as the rest of the guys. But let him get his feet under him. Let's get to these preseason games. Let's let him make tackles now. But he's in. He's out there. And that's the first step. And he's had, you know, just thinking about his journey in that bowl game and him getting hurt, the Cowboys could look extremely smart with this pick. And you just got to be happy that even, even that he's on the field, you would think that this guy maybe will start the season off on Pup. He hasn't. He looks good in practice, moving around well. Those are my three hitters, and that's the my three biggest takeaways. Cheeto's play, for him to be a rookie, he looks very solid out there. Dak is still Dak. And then Jalen Smith is just it's a phenomenal thing to see him come back from that injury. Um, some players trending up. Lyell had had some good practices. Obviously, his battles with Taco, and then he had some good battles with with uh, Tyrone Crawford. That's a good thing. Bryce Butler's put together some good some good practices. Marquez White hasn't been as active as as Cheeto, but a physical guy, a taller corner. He's looking like he's looking like he could be something. So he, these are guys that are kind of trending up. Obviously, Zeke is Zeke. Offensive line is the offensive line, but these are some guys that maybe you wouldn't have expected to be trending up in these practices, and they are just some guys who, who I think, and you know what? And these aren't trending down guys, but these are guys. Hmm, I don't like the Ryan Switzer getting hurt. Now, I know they do all their college stuff, but that one little chicken wing he got pulled by. I think it was Marquez White on a slant. And he pulls up limp. Listen, the way you beat these smaller receivers, Cole Beasley, Danny Amendola. Uh, Welker, all of them, as you beat them up. In the league, Ryan Switzer is going to get beat up. He's going to get hit. And, you know, he did it at Florida. I mean, he, excuse me, he did it at North Carolina. He went up against NFL prospects, but now you're actually in the NFL. So you're going to be get, seeing some hits as a punt returner. So I just want to see kind of how Ryan Switzer holds up. Nolan Carroll, um, with these corners, and you haven't even added Jordan Lewis into the mix, who could possibly – be the best corner co- cover, excuse me, corner cover, <laughs> cover corner of them all. Nolan Carroll's job could be in serious, serious jeopardy. I've said that from the beginning, and now it's looking like it could really come to fruition. And um, so those are kind of like my trending down, not guys, but just topics. Um, a couple of the offensive linemen could probably do a little bit better. And just, but nonetheless, Tyrone Crawford. I didn't like him starting the fights. It's time to practice. I like the aggressive, but you gotta let's practice. Let's have good practices. I want the Cowboys to have clean practices. Uh, one guy I forgot to mention in trending up, Scandrick has put together like two good practices. Um, one without pads, and then he only practiced once with pads. They gave him the veteran day off, but he sees these young corners, and he's like, "Yo, I want to have a good, good training camp." And he's finally fully healthy. If I had to make a prediction. I like Jordan Reed on the outside. Excuse me. I like Jordan Lewis on the outside. I like Anthony Brown on the outside. I like Skandrick in my is my slot, and I like Cheeto as my auxiliary player. With them kind of rotating and doing different things. If I had to make a prediction, because Cheeto right now is looking like a Swiss Army knife, he's gonna he's earning himself playing time early. Nonetheless, this is my Week in Review, Cowboys fans. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, share, subscribe, send it around. Hopefully my thoughts you guys agree with. If not, get in the comment section. I'll answer questions. It's your boy, Fusted King. I'm gone.